Just 40 kilometers south of the city of Bordeaux, you arrive in the town of Sauternes, home to some of the greatest sweet wines in the world, and certainly the most expensive, which is Chateau de Cam, selling for about a billion dollars a bottle. What makes it so special here is that you have this unique microclimate, which is heavily influenced by the fog, which you can see in the background. And that's created by the intersection of two rivers, the Siron and the Garonne. And because of the temperature differences in the water, it creates these misty, foggy mornings. That is the catalyst for the all-important botrytis. What is botrytis? Well, it's a noble rot. It's like a mold. It's a fungus. It makes the grapes look absolutely disgusting. It shrivels them up. It's like a little furry mold on them. And it concentrates the flavors and it concentrates the sugars. And so you create these majestic, unctuous, sweet white wines that can age potentially for a hundred years. The grape varieties here in the vineyards of Sauterne are Sémillon, Sauvignon Blanc and Muscadel. Now Sémillon is particularly susceptible to botrytis because the skins are very thin. Sauvignon Blanc is important because these rich white wines need some acidity, some freshness to keep them from being too cloying. And then you just have a couple of percent of Muscadel in some of the vineyards, which is this gorgeous floral aromatic lift on the nose and on the palate, almost a little bit like Viognier. Anyway, what happens is around about now in late September, pickers come through the vineyards and instead of picking a whole bunch, they actually just search out the botrytis affected grapes and they pick them one by one. And pickers come through the vineyards in, in, in what they call trees, in selections, up to 10 to 12 times during a vintage just to pick those botrytis affected grapes. So making Sauterne is risky business. Some years, you might not make any wine at all. But if it all goes wrong, at least you're surrounded by stunning chateau, gorgeous countryside with vineyards on gently rolling hills, and little villages every couple of kilometers where you're sure to get a steak free to die for. And it's amazing just how small some of these villages are. You can drive through them in about 45 seconds. When it comes to food and wine matching, there's nothing quite like Sauterne and foie gras. This is a match made in heaven, typically served as a starter here in France. Very rich, very explosive flavors, absolutely to die for. On the banks of the Garonne River, you often see a lot of corn planted and you wonder why they don't plant vines, especially when land around here can be worth millions of dollars per hectare. But actually the Garonne River doesn't always stay the same height. And you can see here, back in 1770, they weren't quite so lucky. Wines played a huge role in medicine in France. This uh, little booklet here from 1935 is actually written by a doctor uh, from the Ministry of Agriculture who recommends certain wines uh, to cure certain ailments. And here you can see if, if you have bad allergies, you should have three glasses a day of saint Emilion. Uh, if you have uh, a bronchitis, it's a Bergerac only two glasses a day, uh, pass on that. Uh, the one you don't want is cirrhosis of the liver because then you're on mineral water. And here in Sauterne, if you have a problem with your liver, well, a uh, couple of glasses of Sauterne. In fact, you win three per day and then you'll be all better. Mm -hmm. 